uh, in this atheist Bible, well, any atheist reads Bible verses, we're going to do the one where God really, really talks about how much He loves slaughtering people. There are plenty of verses, hundreds, thousands of verses in the Bible where God talks, where this God, particular God, talks about how much He enjoys slaughtering people. And just like in the New Testament, He talks about how much He can't wait to send your ass to hell. In this one, how much He can't wait to kill you, slaughter you, everybody that you love, and everything, He just enjoys it. It's like His thing in the world. It's how He gets off. Obviously, he doesn't exist. You know, when you read throughout the Bible, you know he slaughters people for not killing the people, for not killing people. If you don't, if he tells people to go out and murder, and you don't want to go and slaughter anyone because you know you just don't like the idea of killing somebody, he'll kill you. He'll do a lot of horrible things to you. That's just how this God is. But here's one you'll like: Isaiah chapter 63. Who, and of course, they like to use this verse also as the Jesus verse. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bolzron? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of its strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? fat. I have trotted the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. And I looked, and there was none to help, and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore my own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury had upheld me. And I will trot down the people in my anger, and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring them down. You know, bring down their strength to the earth. And of course, I got this inspiration to do this particular verse by watching a video by the Bible Reloaded. It was, you know, Atheist, Atheist Bible Study, episode 131. If you want to see theirs, it's actually better, but, you know. And as they'll show you in their video, and I'm going to show you here, this is how much he talks about how much he wants to kill you. All of this all of this. This is how much he loves you. This is how much he wants to kill you. This is how much he loves you. <laughs> and of course, it, as they try to claim that this is also about Jesus and all this stuff, you know, they'll tell you all that stuff because, you know, they'll show you all these wonderful verses. This is how much that the Christian and Jewish God wants to kill you. It's like, you know, if you watch their Quran Reloaded. You know, the Quran study. <laughs> you read the Quran yourself. It's always God wants to slaughter you, God wants to kill you, God wants to slaughter these people and those people. God loves you. God's love. He wants to kill, 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 kill. God's love. Kill, 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 kill. God's love. Same thing in this book. You know, slaughter these people and these people and these people. But I'm all merciful and forgiveness. Now I'm going to kill you. Now, of course, someone who's really. Of course, they have no idea what mercy and benevolence really is. If they did, they realize they would realize this is a mercy and benevolence. It is not mercy and benevolence. This is a cruel, vindictive, petty little god. I mean, he he got pissed with Saul for not slaughtering a bunch of people. And of course, if you go to church, you learn that Saul is disobedient. He was being disobedient to God by not slaughtering all those people. And of course, some apologetics would they'll tell you, well, they had to slaughter all those people because they had to make sure none of the uh, their pagan worship and all that stuff got caught up into their religion. They didn't start copying that. Okay, why did they slaughter all the children and babies? Well, they would have seen all that and they would have copied it. Yeah, but he didn't. But this God of yours didn't mind them taking the little girls and raping the living hell out of them. Well, that's mercy. As Matt Delahoney and others will tell you, religion will make you believe some really baddy things. Just think about how much he loves slaughtering you. Now for the second part of my video. And let's just, you know, lighten the mood with this. Because some people take things more seriously than they should. And this video is a warning to all you men out there, mainly to you men more than anyone else. 
because you have two balls, a baseball bat, and a catcher's mitt, there are a lot of people that really don't like you, especially if you're white. I hate to tell you that. I know how that sounds, but go to the collegefix.com. Go check check out the internet. Listen to what these social justice warriors are doing. Look at what's happening on these college campuses. Automatically, you are a scoundrel. Of course, if you're a Muslim, you're okay. They love you then, you know. And of course, if you read, you know, history of the jihad and crusades, you realize the Muslims do not like the Europeans. This is a thousand years ago because the Europeans allow their women to speak, allow their women to have opinions, and allow their women to speak to other men while they were not around. But hey, we're supposed to believe that these men were evil. I'm sure some of you may have seen on the news, for example, this man at some sporting event, I think it was a sporting event, finds a two-year-old little, two little, little girl running around. She, he tries to help people, and witnesses even say he tried to help the little girl find his family. The family thanks him by beating the hell out of him, putting his address and everything on Facebook, and destroying his life. That's how they thanked him. In Australia, a man was taking pictures of his child near a Star Wars display a few years ago. A woman saw that, took a picture of him, put him on Facebook, and completely destroyed his life. He got death threats and everything. Another man was out to lunch with his two daughters. A woman came up to him and called him a pedophile and all this stuff. And of course, it, by being a man, you know that all of a sudden women think you want them and interested in them. They'll yell and scream at you for it. I've had that happen to me. You go to YouTube, you see what happens. You say hello or you help a woman open a door for them. They get upset. If you're a man, do not ever, ever, even if you're a woman, you really shouldn't do it either. Don't help, don't just help a child that's lost. You shouldn't really do it. Call the police, call security, let them know where that child was. Get somebody that works there. You should not take it upon yourself to do it. I know how that sounds, but seriously, you don't want to get in trouble because a lot of these parents, they're nasty people. I used to be a teacher. I know other people to be a teacher, trust me. A lot of these people who have children can be pretty damn nasty. And I'm not talking about all parents, usually the parents from the middle and upper classes, they're going to be decent, you know, respectful and everything. I'm talking about low class, trashy people, you know, those that live in trailer parks and ghettos and stuff. Oh no, I'm talking about trailer park people. Most people I know that I grew up with lived in trailer park. I grew up in a ghetto, so don't be like that, okay? That's just stupid. I know they are far worse than any other group. You don't really want to help them as much as you want to help people that hire up. But seriously, guys, be very careful. You know, like, for example, you know, I, you know, had, I'm walking up, I've said this in other videos, you know, I'm on the second floor, and this was in high school. This is just an example of a high school. You know, minding my own business, getting water, just walking around, because, you know, at the lunch, I like to walk around before class. Some female down on the first floor saw me. I never saw her, didn't know who she was. Got in her tiny little teeny, teeny peanut brain. I'm not saying women have teeny peanut brain so that particular woman had a tiny peanut brain got in her tiny peanut brain that I was interested in her and I started acting stupid and everything one day I'm walking to my chemistry class she tries to step in front of me to run her mouth I just walk around and ignore her do not ever argue with people that are trying to argue with you it really is not a good idea you're not going to win they're not going to win either it's just you're entertaining other people you know and of course in junior high you know and you, and it's, You'll deal with this crap. It's a lot happens more when you have female teachers. You know they really are going to express their anti-male attitudes. You know I had this one girl, bushy hair like a gorilla. She was white, so don't get into that nonsense. Because this was a predominantly rich white school, and they did not like black folk too much. Yeah, I know what I said earlier about higher level people, but these are teenagers, and still you oh you gotta be careful of everybody. People are just nasty. People, I don't care, male, female. I try to avoid people as much as I can, and that's really what you want to do. They'll destroy your life over the stupidest little things. They don't care. Of course, they want you to forgive them and, and you know, all that stuff, and not do that to them, but they'll do that to you. Because people are trash, for the majority. But anyways, anywho, she was sitting next to me, sniff on me, act stupid and everything. One day in our English class, you know, she was acting stupid. I got fed up. I just flipped her off. That's all I got. She didn't have flipped her off. I should just ignore her and let her go. 
she of course tells the teacher we get called outside and I told her to come back in. The teacher talks to her, of course the teacher was female and told her well you shouldn't be harassing her and doing this and that and well but like and you can't get a word in. They ain't going to listen to you. The fact that you are trying to avoid this female who's constantly sitting next to you and running their mouth to you. I remember, like, all throughout elementary school, you know, of these female teachers, well, you got to go sit over there and this because you're acting. Of course, you're not acting. I wasn't acting. I'm a shy kid staying to myself. And you see it. And I see it happening to other boys, too. Read the book War on Boys. You'll see it. You know, they do this crap. I remember this one teacher said, oh, all the boys are jumping up and down. Let's make them all stand in the corner. And the girls were jumping too. And I had just arrived. And we all had to stand in the corner. You know how it is. And of course, you know the court systems are on the side of women. They're against you. So be careful when you get married. Make sure you get that prenup. Be very careful. Remember this. From what I understand, if you're a man, you do not have custody of the children. Your wife does. When you go to court, when she decides to divorce you, the courts just simply decide how much visitation you will be granted. That's all the courts are going to do for you. They're not on your side. They have already sided against you. Of course, a lot of guys are you know treat their wives like crap. And again, a lot of wives treat their husbands like crap. And then, of course, what else? There's so much crap I could say in this. But please, if you're a man, be very careful, okay? A lot of these social justice warriors types, they don't really care for you. You know, you can check out like Steve Shives and all of them. Those type of feminists. Not all feminists, but the majority of feminists are okay. But you got the Steve Shives type that are just nasty people. And remember, God really loves his slaughter. He really does. Can you imagine how much I can think of about dealing with people? And men will automatically, automatically come to a woman's defense whether she's right or wrong. Because men have teeny pea brains. I did say that. So there. Bye. Men do have pea brains. Because they're dumb enough to be tricked by people. They're easier to trick. Because people like to jump to conclusions. They don't want to step, take a step back and think first to make sure to get all the information before they react to a situation. Just think if people did that, we wouldn't have these stupid ideologies. We wouldn't have these religions. Just think about that. If people would step back, shut the hell up, and get all the facts first. Ignore your biases and all that stuff. It's like, you know, I've worked places where men cannot stand women in charge and they quit and they have a fit or they make their lives a living hell. I've seen that. Who cares? If you, who cares if your boss is male or female? Who in the hell cares? Why do you care? Like I said, I really, I don't care male or female. I prefer just to avoid people as much as I can. I only do this because, you know, I'm desperate for money. Because I'm poor as hell. That's the only reason why I would do this or write my ebooks. You can find the link in the description. Oh, goodness gracious, people are something else, aren't they? They're very unforgiving. Very, 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 very unforgiving. They want you to forgive them, though, and be understanding towards them. They want you to listen to them. But they don't want to forgive you. They don't want to listen to you or any of that stuff. What the hell? What the freaking hell? You just gotta love how self-centered almost everybody in this world is. Oh well, there's so much I could add to this, but seriously, just think first. If you see a couple arguing, don't just all of a sudden jump on one person's side or the other. The man may be wrong, the woman may be wrong. You don't know. And remember, heroes get the worst beatings. Bye.